26th and 27th, yeah. I think. Oh, and then the 5th yeah. and 6th. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And it was coming out the end of February and early March, only four days. So if you want to check. Actually, here it is. This is the official website, yugiomovie3d.com. And if you guys want, I will play the Who's Who's excited for this movie? Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm glad you're taking a picture of this. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't it load? I don't know. It's because four kids is cheap. <laughs> Next time, pay your bandwidth bills. <laughs> pay your bandwidth bills, four kids. Anyways, you guys can check out the website for yourself. There's no voices in this at all. It's just music and they show the three characters. But, um, you know, they have links down here. This is for kids' site. This is actually, Toonzai is, uh, and Toonzaki are both four kids are uploading legal subs of uh, Joe Monsters GX and 5Ds. Or actually just 5Ds at the moment. But they were doing Joe Monsters and then uh, something bad. GX they dub, they only have up to season three. There's no uh, no news on season four yet. Um, and then these links down here used to work, but I don't know why. So kind of real, sorry. And then I have something to show you is Kazuki Takahashi, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, has his own official website. It's called Studio Dice. See, See he has a pretty new artwork of the Yugi Yam Yugi, and this is a Zeal. How many of you know what Zeal is or have heard of it? Yay! In case you don't know, this is the next series of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, this is coming out early spring in Japan. Some of you are going like, oh god, for the series, why? But it's actually um, the first chapter was released in the V Jump. It is actually very interesting. It's very cute. This kid is, is like, he's like the season one Judai. I don't mean that as an insult, but he's very hyperactive and like I love very hurt. Yeah. He, his country is Katubing! Katubing, right? Uh, got, I think it's God. God, I think. Uh, no, it's Kato. Is, is it Kato? It, it, it's Katubing, yeah. yeah. Rough translation, what we can figure is like, preach for the sky, you know? So, because when, when I found that out, I was like, preach for the sky. And I was like, we're going to run into a place. But, okay, so, and then on his official website, he puts up like beautiful illustrations from like uh, the Takuban, the reprint covers to like original like this, like with our death key, and then there's also uh, sketchbooks. So you have like him sketching out things. This was the, on the left was for the V-Jump last year, the February issue. This is a very nice picture. Yes. And, uh, he has it for all three series so far, so here's the PX. I didn't open that. Yeah, I don't know. But there's really cool sketches of all the like, key. Even though he doesn't write or, or like, well, he, he does write, but he doesn't actively draw like production. He still does the designs and the overall story. So anyone who thinks like, oh, he's lost creative control, like, there's, it, it's not really. True. So like for five days, you see he designed monsters, many of the monsters, Bar Red Nova, or Red And also his new series, his original new series called Button. It's about this little alien guy named uh, Button 299. Basically, his planet, uh, everything's used with buttons or something, and it like explodes because this evil doctor Y Kure basically set it up so this, you know, he set up the bomb and the planet exploded, and they had to go find a new planet. So it's this little cute little alien's adventure. So it's all animated by him and the, the dice team, so it's like maybe four or ten people. But it's really cute, you guys should check it out. His website, official website, is studio-dice.com. And then, here we go, the new series. So my computer is like, no RAM. Our game is like, fine. Here you go, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero. See, he has a scouter. So, yeah, you can imagine the jokes we got. <laughs> like, hey, what's the little scouter save on his life? Wait, it's over 9,000! I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, if 
It's the last stream. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Text messages. Okay. The, the, the dual thing is is like um he he has this, the dual disc is actually like the little plate thing pops out of his arm thing and the little scatter comes down and like it shoots out like a display for like you know, his life points and whatever. <coughs> Sorry. And then he has kind of like a dual spirit partner called Astral. He's very mysterious right now, not too much of his own. But um. I don't know, I heard everyone to go see it when it comes out, and I'm hoping maybe they'll show a preview at Comic Con, I don't know, but yeah. So, you know, even though it's called Zeal, there's an X in the middle, that X is silent, so for the longest time I was calling it Zex yeah, Zexel. Yeah, but don't no. pronounce it Zexel, guys. The main, the main character's name is uh, Skumo Yuma, and the kanji, though, is the characters. It's funny because it says 99, so I just kept calling him 99 until I was like, And then the, the, here's the best part. His first name is Yuma, right? First character is Yu, as in Yugi, because you know, all the characters have Yu in their name. The second character, though, is Ma, like Kaiba's Ma. So it's like Yugi and Kaiba, and I was like, right? <laughs> um, but, <laughs> Love child, what? <laughs> Everyone's been asking me, do you have a silver movie? Do you have a bomb movie? Do you have a silver movie? Do you have a bomb? Pass your phone. The answer's no. Just no. I, I don't live in Japan, yes! sadly. There's no raw. There is no raw, so please don't ask. But this is the next best thing. Basically, um, before and the end of each five news episodes, they would show a clip of the movie. So what this person did, is, um, they took all the clips and like stuck them together. So it's basically the movie, except you're missing like bits. Yeah. So if you guys are interested, anyway, um, how many of you have seen only Duel Monsters? How many of you have uh, seen GX? All the way through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about five Ds? How many of you? Uh, uh, five Ds uh, with the Japanese. So one, about 140. If you're a little behind, that's okay. Okay, so I will give you background information. You all know about Dual Monsters, right? Yugi solves a puzzle, uh, gets power, Yama Yugi, the shadow game, card game for Ad. Uh, the, the movie, though, when Yugi shows up, it is after Battle City, but before the memory arc. Course. This is like the perfect little high slide. We can throw every single filler ever. Yu Gi Oh R, the Domo Arc, KC Grand Prix. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but um, okay, for GX though, this is after the series. So after season four, aka the season that was never dubbed, aka the season that we never got. Um, but basically, um, if you guys don't mind kind of spoilers, after Judai uses the new bell, he gains not only Bell's power, but the Spring King power, so that's why he has those Christmas light eyes, you know, red and green one. Yeah, it's like, and uh, you, you bell is like his little floating partner, and same with um, the cat, the, the fat little cat named Farrell. It swallowed the soul of that teacher from season one, right? So the cat follows him around. So that's why you see uh, the cat with him. And then uh, 5Ds, I have a speculation, it's after, in between seasons like two and three. So maybe like after Dark Signers, but before the WRGPX, because the, it, you know, they, they're on the bridge and they kill, right? And they seem paradox. So I have a suspicion between that. So he doesn't have Shooting Star, obviously. And I don't, he doesn't, well, he doesn't use Majestic Star, but he might have it. But, um, does anyone have questions about any of these series that they want to know before the movie comes out? at all, like anything from the series, like you all know who say is, right? Yeah, Judai, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but these are clips. So, I have possibly this paradox, the main villain. So how many of you have been kept, keeping up with five days and saw his little cameo? Only two people. How many people want to know why he's there? Yeah, okay, one more here. <laughs> how many people don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it, okay, so, the premise of the movie is basically Paradox travels back in time to try to destroy, kill the creator of Duel Monsters, you know, Pegasus, to save the ruined future, right? He does so by stealing Stardust Dragon and tries going after Pe uh, Pegasus and actually succeeds, you know, so, spoiler, Pegasus dies in the movie, but, like, um, Paradox goes on this rampage and eventually, like, uh, Yusei uses the Crimson Dragon, you guys know Pokemon, right? He uses it like the Alga, where he's like, okay, let's time travel all over the place. Yeah. 30 minutes, 30 minutes before Paradox kills, uh, I mean, Paradox kills Pegasus, he jumps in and then Paradox chases after him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, 
like, why did you guys stop? Okay, you look at this duel, right? So, it's a three on one duel, and literally this duel is only four turns. It is that short. This movie is only 50 minutes. In Japan, the quote unquote extra 10 minutes is uh, it's supposed to be a uh, preview of the next year's seal, but it's still rather unknown if the US will have this extra period or not. But, um, yeah, I, they, um, they finished dubbing this movie in late November, and so they've just been working on promotion. If you guys are curious, uh, the company known as Cine, Cine Nine is the distributor. We don't have an official list of theaters, but it looks like it's only about 200 theaters, and if if they seriously are only airing it in Cine 9 theaters, the closest one to Northern California is in Brentwood. That is east of the Bay Area. That is two hours away. And I was like, oh. But, um, okay, so anyways, being stack anime, we actually have crack today. <laughs> if you guys know this is 5Ds, this is Bruno. And uh, since stack anime decided to feature Power Rangers, right? Guys are watching Yu Gi Oh! Just so you know. This one is from Monty Python, but it's a Flashio. None shall pass. What none shall pass? I have no quarrel with you, good tonight, but I must pass. What none shall pass? Yeah, he literally. I have no quarrel with you, good tonight, but I must cross this bridge. Then you shall. I command you, as King of the Britons, to stand aside. I move for no man. So be it. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. It is but a scratch. A scratch? It's a flesh wound. Yeah, he literally said that. <laughs> I wouldn't die even if they killed me. That's what I really have. Does anyone have any questions or something you want to ask? Start the back. Where'd you get that background? I love it. Oh, I drew that. Yeah. Spoiler, okay, there was a fan fiction I wrote in 2004 that um, I never finished, so this is me finishing it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, my bad. Um, okay, is that, Jure had a question? Yes, um, do you guys donate to the Yu-Gi-Oh! series? Uh, condone, or? Yeah, do you, do you, or do you be like, okay, that's cool, or be like, no, get rid of it? It's cool, but I honestly liked it a lot better in the, in the earlier, um, Episodes because it was more like just him kind of like having fun, but now it's like I feel I feel like something's happened that's kind of affected his work maybe. So and then also the, the fandom for TES is a little just a little annoying. We're the one who yelled card games and motorcycles. I mean, okay, honestly, I'll, I'll admit it. When that meme first came out, it was fun to yell, but then it was just like right in my ear, and I was like. But still, I don't know, it's it's a fun series, but it's just like I don't I don't like how people seem to like I don't know, it seems like after TA that's like a huge explosion of like Merrick and Rakura shippers showed up. I mean, does anyone kind of agree with me on this? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I was like it's not really I, I mean it's his take on the characters, but it kinda of irks me because I really um, 
like the original series and kind of the personalities already set there. But it's his thing, and you know, I respect that. And he has great talent, so you know, I wish him all the best. Um, yeah. Uh, anyone else have? Um, for for what Four Kids is doing, you 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 see them sweeping YouTube basically. It's Four Kids and uh, Nihon Ad Systems, which is the Japanese company that owns the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. They are taking down all the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, laws and sub fan subs because uh, US Four Kids got the license to dub and uh, sub the episodes. So we we don't have news about GX season four being dubbed yet or released in the US, and it's a little difficult to find them online now, but. As it stands, you know, like, I'll be honest, I, only, I didn't watch all of GX. I kind of watched up to season three, and then four, I was like, uh. <laughs> And then I watched the last two episodes, because Yami Yuki was in it, so I heard, and I was like, yeah. it. Um, if you guys remember, there's an episode of 5Ds where they alluded the, was it the Norse gods to the, the Egyptian gods, right? So I saw Slyver and I was like, oh, awesome, Slyver! And he's like, yes, I got one more second screen time than Raw, take that! There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, did, that, did I answer your question, I guess? Yeah. Um, did anyone have any other questions? Throw the band in. In the US or Japan? Uh, uh, Japan, uh, because the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds anime ends late February. No, March. 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 March, really? March. March. Okay, well, March. So it's assumed, I think, April. Right? March or April, yeah. Yeah, usually around April, yeah. Okay, any other questions, maybe? Um, as far as I know, they are still continuing to dub it because the voice actor for Yusei is still going in the studio and dubbing. So it takes about a six month lead time actually from dubbing to air. So we have it for at least the next six months. <laughs> and then, uh, actually, you might be wondering, I brought the bigs here. Yeah. And, uh, how many of you are interested in doing Yu Gi Oh cosplay? Trying. Okay. So, yeah, you guys know the hairs and sing, right? Yeah. yeah. So this, this was actually my first Yusei big Yu Gi Oh wig, and it's from 2004 Comic Con, so it's a little beat up. But how many of you know Melinda Chan, right? Yeah, I tried to follow her tutorial, and didn't, didn't really <laughs> like it, but, but I can appreciate what, what uh, she did that for us. So it was basically, these, both these wigs are um, punky wigs from Cosworks. Uh, this one's a punky XL because of long hair in the back. And what you do is, uh, this one you use Aquanet to basically you spray it and like hold it in place and you kind of shape it to what you want. The yellow is hair extensions, like glued on basically. And, uh, oh, there goes that. and then uh, this one is a newer one. Uh, you guys know five weeks. This is Aporia's hair. Yeah. Um, this one was a little different because um, of what I learned from making this one. I asked Melinda Changan, and she showed me her tutorial on the Gary Oakley, which is basically she took um, very minimal hairspray actually. She just clipped like one end together and like sprayed the base and the tip and held it together like that. And that's how it's like stiff like this. And then, but the bangs though, if you notice, um, the back is actually, it's, it's a construction paper. <laughs> but uh, she and some other cosplayers will use uh, craft, craft foam and they will just uh, take extensions and glue it on that. Yeah, so it, it's really like to make a wig you have to have like a good sense of 3D perspective I think. Otherwise, it comes out kind of funny. Um, so that's Corey's wig. And I mean, if they want to have like cosplay questions, I might be able to try to help. But okay, sir. Anyone to do a setup? How do you suggest? You mean to give the code that giant flare, right? <laughs> okay. So actually, yay, that looks awesome. Yay. Let's not do Photoshop. <laughs> let's use, let's use, whoops. Let's use paint. Yay, paint. Okay. Yay. I will actually show you. I actually was very fortunate to uh, trade and receive the uh, coat, the Kaiba coat from uh, Kyle, Ian Shadow. So, let's see this picture. See this? 
the bottom flare, there's actually like a 24 gauge wire running through the bottom and the sides. I took that out because it was hard to walk through doors. <laughs> but, but that's how he did it. He ran like a huge wire through the bottom. And actually, if you expand the uh, coat all the way, like, so here you have like the coat. And then actually, you know, the coat's supposed to look like this, right? Unfolded, this this cloth back here is actually like, like, whee! <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's literally like a giant, like half, more than a half circle. So when, and you sew up like this top part, this top part's a lot shorter than this bottom part, so when you sew it, it like, it bunches up at the bottom to give it like that poof at the bottom. That's that's um, how he did his Kaiba coat, and I think it came out really well. Because you didn't even need the wire really to have that flare, I think. Did anyone else have a cosplay question? Anyone here interested in the card game, actually? Okay, who, who, how many? Okay, how many of you know the next set store right now? Okay, well, all right, well, do you guys have any card game questions, maybe? Okay, here. Oh, I play a uh, I play light board plants or light sword plants. It's a it's a play off of uh, the uh, dandy uh, synchro deck. Yeah. If you guys want afterwards, people can. Do oh, that reminds me. Um, anyone in the audience who pre-ordered a, a Yu-Gi-Oh fan calendar, please see me afterwards. Yeah. Wait, what is that? <laughs> um, uh, let's see. How many of you are just in the math class of the Yu Gi Oh cosplay? Like, I was trying, I'm trying to make Stardust, but I made this before, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, I didn't make wings, I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. And then, uh, I don't know. Do you have questions or interests in general? Like, anything you guys want to comment about? You guys, like, uh, about like, any type of discussion, maybe, about Duel Monsters, GX, or 5Ds, or even Zeal? Have you guys seen Zeal? Well, I saw a couple names on the manga scans, but I didn't see your journal or your kind of fan guess when you were in. Because I don't, you know, on, on DeviantArt, you are not supposed to link to illegal downloads of anything. It's part of the terms of service, which also brings me to don't upload screenshots, please. That's the most annoying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but, um, if you want, I actually do have these cancellations for seal. You guys want to read it with me? Story time! Story time! Okay, yeah. so at the beginning we have our hero, Skuma Yuma. He's standing in a desolate path. It's like, ki 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 Ah! He's like, ha, ha. And then, uh, so he's at, it says, uh, the one who opens this door will gain a new power. Da, da. The power of the game. So here we have a Skumo Yuma, and uh, we have quote unquote the love actress, aka Molly Potter. Um, yeah. She's 13, and, uh, guys. We have the rival. People call him, his, his nickname is Shard, but everyone looks at his head and they were like, octopus. Oh, um, okay. It's a new, it is a new artist, uh, but the original story and the character design is by Takahashi. If he wants to do that, you'll see the character design for uh, Skumo. So, next page. The door is, however, a uh, payment that person must lose when it's most precious to her. So he's like, what? And he's like, my most precious thing. And he's holding a little uh, key thing. It was funny because when we first got, like, really back all these uh, pictures of this from scan, uh, from Vijo, we thought that was a drill. <laughs> so we were like, oh, ah, girl, oh my god. Yeah, girl, oh my god. There. And then we look at it closer, we're like, oh. Oh, it's <laughs> a fish bone. But still, you know, it was funny. Um, so it was all a dream. He's like, ah. So we look around his uh, room. You see, there's a lot of artifacts because his parents are archaeologists, right? And so he's like, oh, that dream. I'm like, yeah. He's like, good. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm gonna be late. So he wakes up and he has an older sister. He has a family. This <laughs> is <laughs> unheard of. Oh my god. And you had grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> No one cares about Grandpa. Where's his parents, huh? <laughs> this monster, but she was up for like two episodes. We never see her again. Were the parents even care that we're missing? 
Okay, first of all, this is a shonen series. There are no parents. They're there, but okay, they're okay. not. I mean, you guys know five days, Rua and Ruka. Their parents have been gone for like six years. And I'm like, your kids ran off to an upside down squiggle to fight for the fate of the universe. They might die. <laughs> you might want to come home. <laughs> So he was late to school, and she's a receptionist for something. And oh, here, Skuma Yuma is very young. He's middle school, so it's like what, 12? 13. 13. Very, very young, younger than all the other uh, protagonists. He's very cute, though. He's like, ready? He's like, oh, I'm okay, um, So he gets to school, or he, he's trying to run out of school, and he's, he has a grandmother. Really creamy cheeks, but she's really cool. I don't know. So he's just like, Grandma, what are you doing? Did you eat your breakfast? Like, I don't have time. I'll be late for school. He's like, Oh. He's like, Oh, I'm working your dad. And she's like, She's like, If I remember, you've lost 40 times. He's like, Uh, maybe 50. Like, you should eat food. <laughs> this is why you're failing. <laughs> and so, anyways, at the school, which is like this giant, I don't even know what she. I think, wait, like, Zeal is uh, set in the future, right? Yes. Past 5D, so. It's future, future. You just keep up with 5Ds. I guess the future is saved because this show starts. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's just being a smart ass, so there you go. But anyway, so that's cool. There's these block things. You're supposed to jump over a few of them, right? He stacks like 20. Yeah. He's like, I can clear this, no problem. He's like, yeah, he's, he's going to make an ass of himself. It's like, oh, I'm good. And this is, a, this is his catchphrase. Like, that's the thing. And it's trying to say going to rise to the sky. So, you know, obviously that failed at life. Fails at life. And then, uh, so, next class. Swimming! Yay! He's shirtless. That's the deal. <laughs> so, like, no way. So, he's, he's, 13. Gonna, he's 13, guys. Yeah, 13. Yeah. I don't want to see a 13-year-old's yeah, chest. I've already got to the lolly. Ew. Um, I'm, I'm kind of scared of them. Continue. <laughs> I'm just, just going to turn off the... Right, turn on. Sorry, turn on the R18 filter and... Just not explore that. Just don't look at it. Anyway, so he failed at swimming. So, you know, his, his uh, nice little friend is like, yeah, you're kind of stupid. So she's kind of like on to Yugi, I think. So, but, you know, it kind of sucks that all these girls can never really do anything. <laughs> Other than be like, yeah, you can do it. Like, Except for five days, we have Aki and Sherry. Delicious Sherry. <laughs> Delicious Sherry. <laughs> so he's going to do it right. And uh, so he explains the significance of this key, basically. His mom! Oh my god, we see his mom! And she's hot. <laughs> she's very pretty. Yeah, so his mom gave him the He's hot because uh, the her, his parents were uh, archaeologists and explorers, right? So on a trip, they kind of went missing. Yeah. No, see, this is. Well, this is a good reason that, for them being gone. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. They'll see their son fail at life. Okay. <laughs> but, anyways, when this scan first came out, I was like, He's hot! He's hot! I'm like, No! <laughs> No, everyone's like, first look at uh, Yuma's design, you're like, yeah, you say Aki had a kid, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no. As much as I was kind of like that. Because <laughs> um, you guys, okay, I don't know if you were here when GX, we first got those pictures up. People were automatically assigning, like, dual monster parents to them. Like, Judai was the, the son of Yugi and Anzu. Uh, Sho was uh, Bakura and... I forgot who. And, and, and like uh, Alexis was supposed to be Kaiba and Shizu, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Where did the blonde come from? I don't know, Kaiba and Serenity, and I was like, <laughs> I met like once. <laughs> I know she's nice, but anyway, so after school or something, they get to a break, they get to uh, Jewel, and so the device he's wearing that scanner looking thing is called a D Gazer, so you know, AR vision link, everyone start, all right. Like, if you see me duel, you'll totally understand. It's like, it's the best thing ever, so... Yeah, there's a new, like, duel system where the monsters are real, and he's popping around. The monsters are real. Yeah, basically, if you become the duel world, he's fantasizing. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this artist is, like, amazing. I don't think he's Takahashi at all. <laughs> or, like, oh, yeah, didn't do this. <laughs> but, yeah, so, giant, I don't know what. It's like Monster Hunter. Yeah, sure. Literally. So it's the big no, fat friend versus Mr. Rival Shark guy, yeah, real good, the shark. So he's like, hey. So his, his deck is based on sharks. And oh, here's the new um, dueling system. You know, Five Beasts had Synchro Summon. Uh, for Zeal, it's called like Overlay Summon or something, where basically you have the two monsters and you kind of like put them on top of each other. <laughs> I, 